In the previous video, we updated a document in Firestore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete documents from Firestore. By the end of the video, you'll be able to remove notes from Firestore by clicking the delete button right here. The delete process starts from view note dialog. Open it up. Scroll down to the on click method. As you can see, I've added a new case to the switch statement. This is where we'll start the delete process. I want to stay consistent with what we've been doing so far and execute all the Firestore tasks in main activity. So we need a new interface method for that. Open iMainActivity. Create a new method named delete note. It's going to accept a note object. Now go back to view note dialog. In the delete case, call the delete note method and pass the note. Then dismiss the dialog. Open main activity. As you can see, we're getting an error and we need to implement the new interface method. Click the red light bulb and select the delete note method. I'm going to cut it and move it just below on create. Now we're ready to write the logic for deleting the selected note. As always, we need to start with the Firebase Firestore instance object. We're going to be deleting a document, so we need a document reference object. I'm referencing the notes collection and specifying the note by referencing the note ID. To delete a document, we just need to call the delete method on the document reference. I just want to take a moment and give some recognition to the Firebase team for making very intuitive method names. I love it. There's no mistaking what this method does. It obviously performs a delete. Really great stuff. Anyway, moving on. Next we listen for completion using an oncomplete listener like we've done with every other task. Then check for task success using an if else block like this one. If the task is successful, I'll show a snackware message that says deleted note. If the task fails, I'll show a snackware message that says failed check log. That's all there is to it. I want to mention that there's going to be an issue with this, but I want to show you the issue before we resolve it. Run it and let's take a look. I'll select a note from the list. Now watch Firestore in the background when I press the delete button. There, a note was removed from Firestore. And we got a snack bar message that said deleted note. But there is a problem. The list wasn't updated. The deleted note is still showing. If I refresh the list by dragging downwards, the list is still not updated. That's because of the way we have the query designed. It only queries new documents, not old ones. So the data set isn't being updated. Open note recycle view adapter and let's fix the problem. Create a new public method named remove note. We want to remove the note from the master list and notify the adapter that a change has been made. Open main activity. If the delete task is successful, we want to call the remove note method on the adapter. Because this is being used in an interface, we need to make the note object final. Now the list will be updated when a note is deleted from Firestore. That's it for my introduction to Firestore course. That should give you a good foundational knowledge of Firestore. You now know how to insert documents, query collections of documents, update documents, and delete documents. Keep in mind this is meant to be an introduction. There's still a ton of features we didn't explore. Things like inserting and managing subcollections within documents, uploading images and image management, advanced methods for sorting, ordering, and paginating queries, Pagination in particular is a powerful function, the advanced functionalities of security rules, and the major differences between Firestore and the Firebase database. For more information on Firestore, I highly recommend watching my Firestore course on Pluralsight. It's absolutely packed with value. If you like my YouTube videos, you'll fall in love with my Pluralsight courses. I spend a ton of time trying to anticipate any questions you might have or areas of confusion. I can't stress it enough. You won't find better Firebase courses for Android. And one of the great things about Pluralsight is you can try it free for 10 days. There's absolutely no risk to you. You'll find a trial link in the description of this video. If you're interested in me or my course creation process, make sure to follow me on Instagram. My username is mitch.tabian. I often post stories about what I'm working on or what's coming next. That's also probably the best way to contact me. Hopefully you found my introduction to Firestore course helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.